Hello and greetings. Welcome to video number two in the series of Logic Invoice. Um, on video number one, we installed it. Now we're ready to start managing this thing. Um, actually, on this video, we're probably going to start changing the looks to logos and so forth. Um, so let me go ahead and open Chrome. And remember the the site that we're going to, or the the, the test site that we're that we're actually working on. Is logic invoice.local.test. Okay, so this would be the main site. And if you notice it, it here's your, the logo. I'm going to show you how you change that logo and also where you change this my, my company and so forth. Um, you know, you can put all, all your information there. So, step one is to log in as admin. And to be able to log in as admin, you have to actually go into the to the admin login page. So the login page, and let me zoom in, it's here. It's gonna be your site name, whatever you created, like on our site, on you know on this test site that we're doing, doing is here, forward slash admin, forward slash index. And then you're gonna be greeted by the administration login. Then here you can actually log in admin, and then your password. Uh, which I have over here. So, I mean, let me log out. I mean, let me zoom out. Uh, yeah, let me save it there. Okay, so step one is you'll notice that by now I actually have two clients. Um, I created a customer one, customer two, and we'll walk and I created just a local email just to start testing. Um, so again, uh, let's work on changing these logos. Here is, um, I created three files. Three, uh, there's a fav.png. There's, I created just one uh, logic. So if I open it, you'll notice that it's just a transparent. So let's work on that first. So if I go under system, and if I go under settings, uh, under here under website, you'll notice there's a, there's a section for logo link. You can go ahead and click on the little pencil. So I, I clicked on it and then you're gonna click on the pencil and then you're gonna click here on upload. And when you click on upload, it's gonna ask you, where do you want to uh, upload this from? So I dump mine under downloads. So here's logic invoice. So the inv the logo is this one. See, I want the, the logo to show the invoice on the right, I mean on the left, and then the name. So press OK. Uh, and then it tells you that it has been successfully uploaded. So I'm going to show, I'm going to tell this thing to use this one. And that's the one that's on there now. Now the, the Favcon. Uh, the, the fav icon we're gonna go ahead and click on that again click on the little pencil and now go ahead and click on the upload and now I'm gonna choose the other one that I have which it should be this one I'm gonna see if it could take this big one if not I created a real tiny one you can see the difference in size okay so then the one I'm going to select is going to be this one. Okay. So now if you notice it, it selected both my icons and remember how I was saying about the, my, the main site, what, what it comes up as here's where you could actually change this. So this, I'm going to change this over to, um, you know, freelance tech dot com. Uh, tutorial to logic invoice. How about, oops, I misspelled it. So, and I'm going to just copy that. And then here too, under the My Company, I'm going to just put that there. Here, it's going to be the same thing. I mean, and you get the gist. Um, 
Okay. Um, once you put it, you have everything where you want. You're gonna go ahead and hit, click here on save. And now we can actually test this. Oh, actually no, I I stop this thing here. So that's that here. Um, yeah. So that's there. Yeah. Th all this stuff is fine. Save this. So what we did there is let me go ahead and uh, just get out of this let me log out so you can see I replaced the icon here and the five icon is replaced right there so um, but now the issue is when we log when we actually log in as administrator you'll notice that we still have the actual logo right here on the upper left right there and that's because it sits in a different spot so what I'm gonna do here is uh, log out just for right now and now I'm gonna go ahead and open my filezilla myself but you could open I mean whatever your your FTP client is so let me zoom in yeah that should be fine so let me log in so step one is going to be navigate to um, under admin and then under view and image. And you can see these are the two icons right here. Uh, in flags, you actually have just the different flags in the world. So these two, what I'm going to end up doing is replacing just make a copy of both of these and I'm just going to repaste them not repaste them but just paste them in here and I'm going to give them give it the name of that those existing files so that way we can kind of see which one does what so under logo um, I'm going to go ahead and rename this to logo and then this one is going to be icon. So we'll rename this to icon. Yep. So now if I refresh my FileZilla, there they are right here. So both of these files, all I'm going to do, I'm going to just drag them over. So that's done. Let me zoom out and close that out so here is the admin login and you'll notice now that the logo is there uh, let me zoom in it is a little bit tiny um, I mean it's just something where you can work on but you can see when I open the logo, the second one shows up pretty nice. So that one doesn't look that bad actually. If you click on it, so you remember I have the one that, that has the window, the letters on the side, and then this one will be the letters on the bottom. So actually that doesn't look that bad. Yeah, all that good jazz, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll definitely see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.